Hello everybody and welcome to yet another Civilization 6 series here on the channel where we're going to be playing as Robert the Bruce, my namesake, and the Scottish Empire here. Scotland is a Civ that I really enjoy playing that I think is a little criminally underrated. If you know how to play the amenity game, which I really honestly am not good at, you get a really fast science game out of Scotland here. Now why is that? Well, we can completely skip Bannockburn. This ability never comes into play. You don't declare wars of liberations very often, and you're not really going to get this too often to work for you. But Scottish Enlightenment. Happy cities receive 5% science and 5% production additionally uh, to your cities. They also generate one scientist point and one engineer point. Uh, so that's great. But if you have ecstatic cities, you double all these amounts. So if you're able to play the luxury resource game, you really uh, get really quick scientific victories. Because what do you need for scientific victories? Science and production. So they're really great for that. Highlander, not very useful. It's just a scalp. Blah, who cares? And the golf course unlocks the... Uh, so two amenities and two gold. This helps you get happy cities, right? Plus one culture if you're next to a city center. Plus one culture if adjacent to an entertainment complex. So again, you're looking for amenities here. Additional tourism and housing as you go through the civic tree. So yeah, it also boosts appeal, which is okay. But you want to place these next to your city centers. So you have three districts you want to build here, kind of, for uh, Scotland, which is the industrial zone and the campus, but also uh, theater squares because you're incentivized to go for entertainment complexes. Scotland's fun if you know how to use them correctly. So looking at our start position here, oh, I should say, DD difficulty, fractal map, standard game mode, our game speed, Heroes, Legends, Monopolies, Corporations, Secret Societies. I turned off the Barb Clans because I don't want to deal with Barbs this game. Looking at our start, I see right here a pretty decent looking campus already. That's pretty good. We can go with a plus three. We like plus threes. We definitely want to keep like some of these tiles over here in order to have like the golf course. But I can already see, uh, mm, not really, but if we did something like aqueduct, yeah, aqueduct, industrial zone, then we could go for one, two, three. We could go for a city here. We could go aqueduct. Industrial zone. And we could even go for a dam. Probably. If we wanted to. Right here. And that's pretty good. That's a pretty decent setup. So we definitely want to see what's down here. Uh, we will want to put the city here, most likely. Well, we'll see what's down here, but we might go here. It's one of these two tiles. And we'll find a place for our uh, government plaza. One, two, three. It might go here. It might go... Here, we might district around here. We'll see. We'll see what we've got. We're definitely going to settle in place, though. Uh, we have decent tiles to work. We're definitely wanting to work this faith tile first, so I'm glad we're working that. And we'll grab uh, the scout. The campus might change. It depends. So since we want happy cities, happy healthy cities, we're going to be working on getting our luxury resources, and we're going to go for an early builder and an early settler. Uh, to, to use those bonuses as fast as we can. I definitely want to see what's down here, but I also knew that there was a barb camp because, well, when I moved up here, that was an accident, but I saw the scout and I knew it would be close to a camp, so we moved over here to get to the camp. We will scout out what's down here eventually. 
We'll take the hit, and then we'll heal for a turn. There is... It looks like Eleanor. I saw pink. So we might not get this city. Alright, this is Inglenor. Okay. Uh, I think Inglenor is just worse overall. But that does boost riding for us. I hope she's not super close, because I really like this city setup that we have here. I'd much rather have the Goody Hut than the Barb Camp. So we'll take that Goody Hut. And we get the Barb Camp too, so that's fantastic. That's really lucky for us. Depending on how close she is, we might consider just murdering her. I'm going to hold that Governor title till I see where she is. If she's really super duper close. Aw, oh, man. But we got to go straight into a settler here. We're working the food. We're going to need production. We don't have too much production here. Currently, we don't have that much production. But we're going to go... We might consider vampires depending on what the map starts looking like. I'll bring my warrior back home and start protecting this city location. If I move here, I don't have a good campus. That's the only big problem. So we'll probably work on <coughs> uh, districting a campus around a uh, government plaza down there. I'm not really going to go for astrology. I don't think I want to rush a religion. We can get amenities from a religion, though. So we might consider, but we have more important things we want to work on. Namely, getting this darn settler out. Let's heal you. And keep looking around. So we want to be finding unique luxuries, because unique luxuries give us... One, two... That was a jerk city. We might reconsider everything now that she's put Manchester right there. One, two, three. I mean, it is far enough away that we could do a city there still. But now we're definitely going to have loyalty problems. So what I think we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get this out. It's as strong as a warrior. But we can make it stronger. I do want to change policies to put in this, and instead of this, since we already have faith, we're going to work on urban planning. That doubled the time that it takes, or halved the time that it takes to get that settler out. Kumasi. We're going to need... Oh, there's a continent up here that we want to expand into eventually as well. We're going to need to make some pretty strong units here. So after we get we after we get this, we're going to pivot into military tech and take out Eleanor hopefully. I don't think she's going to be able to put up much of a fight very early in the game. 7 turns we can make that better next turn. I thought Clay must feel happy. Yeah. Let's rearrange. Does that it doesn't change it? It's still five turns no matter what, so we'll just keep it. Looking here, I would really like to get this, but we're going to need to chop the rainforest anyway to get that where we want it to go. So we'll look at bronze working. We've already killed one barb unit. I don't see us killing two more very soon, unfortunately. Let's explore a little bit with our vampire before we bring him back around to war with uh, Manchester here. You know what, actually, this city's not that strong. We'll get some stuff 
and we'll we'll see what we can do about taking her out early. Definitely want to come around and try to take this barb. If it does something stupid, we can corral it fairly easy. It wants to die. I think it doesn't have a home anymore, so it's going to want to kill itself. Move you forward. If I hit it first, then I should be able to kill it and boost archery. That's sick. We want that. Get you hanging out here. And as far as production goes, we're gonna uh, probably work on some military here. I'm too far from archery for it to pay too much of a uh, role in this upcoming war. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to, to leverage archery. And she might end up with some archers. But she's looking pretty pretty juicy, pretty tasty. London's just right down here. We'll throw this city down, move in, attack her. We get our Pantheon. Without having to work God King, which is good. We don't want to work God King because it doesn't do as much for us. If we go for Divine Spark, well, first we always check for the City Pantheon. We didn't get it. If we go for Divine Spark, it is just even more great scientist points. I know we go for Divine Spark pretty generally all the time, but it's just the most consistent of the Pantheons, right? And what you want is consistency. Let's settle our city. That is a very aggressive settle from us. Maui. So it is worth... Ma I mean, I'm sure you understand that if we get Maui this early in the game, that's just a game changer, right? So Maui gives us more amenities. So it might be worth... <laughs> Thank you. I really actually love that you did that for us. So we're going to go ahead and declare this war. Uh, we're going to declare that war. Get this vampire back here. We do get the promotion on our warrior. After we get this warrior, we're going to go into a monument and then we're going to work on getting Maui out. I want the Slinger to go up on the hill, bring the Warrior forward, Vampire hits the city, Warrior hits the city, and there's Oye, which we don't really care about. That's one hero that I just never bother even looking at recruiting. Uh, let's get the Slinger up on the hill, kill the farm, grab the promotion, and we're going to start walking this warrior down. I would really like to buy this monument, but we'll take the time to build it. And let's get foreign trade. Why am I getting foreign trade? Let's get military tradition. That'll give us a flanking bonus. Sometimes I just choose because I'm like, oh, trade routes, they're good. But in this situation, you know, trade routes are actually not good. Something else would be better. We'll take this hit. Take this hit. Smack this warrior. Uh, if they keep concentrating the slinger down, you know, that's not so bad for us. It means they're not hitting our main damage dealing units here. Vampire hits the city. Warrior hits the city. So, th this warrior is soon to die, but that's okay. Because I think, uh, if we get everybody in place, I think we have a good chance of taking the city in a turn or two here. Let's hit this. 
Then we hit this. And then I think we can get that city fairly reliably in the next couple of turns. I am not the best at, you know, Dark Age Wars. But we take what we can get here. Now we have the major problem of keeping this from her. So I'm going to need units down here. Keep this city. Get the vampire moving back. She's essentially dead in the water. There's nothing that Eleanor is ever going to be able to do this game that'll come back from losing her first settle. So we've taken that. Uh, she'll have to take it back from us to e ever catch up. Which is probably just not going to happen. It feels a little cheesy going to war with the AI, right? I understand. It does. But they, she was like right beside us, right? What are we going to do? Just not kill her? We could smell her from where we were. She's too close. We don't want them to be that close to us. Uh, I think it is time in this city to start getting builders because we want to send builders up here to deal with all of this and our capital is going to be busy for a couple of turns at least. Uh, I don't like seeing Simon Bolivar around. Uh, he's super aggressive, super aggro as a sieve and not a big fan of him being that close to us. Uh, I'm going to refuse that deal because I think as soon as I get Maui, she's just done. Uh, as soon as I get Maui, we're going to just take her capital. So there's no no reason to really ever be scared of her. I don't want to hit a Dark Age. Like, pretty desperately don't want to hit a Dark Age. We'll get foreign trade now because we can start trading with all these city-states. So we can send a road down here to Manchester. Would be pretty good. We'll take this warrior, or builder. Uh, that's free builders. Sends you down. Uh, that's a bit too strong for us to take. Currently. Vampire is still a bit too weak to do very much. But next turn, we get Maui transferred to Manchester, and then we just come down and start messing, knocking on her door here. I'm going to refuse just for now. She did take Bologna's military. Again, not super duper scared. Let's transfer you down here. Let's get you moving in the right direction. Uh, I'd like to just take some units out. If I take her capital, that's a normal age. At the least. Or at the most. We can't get a golden age at this point. We didn't explore nearly enough. It's time to settle. We're going to be looking towards the north here for settlements. We did lose a warrior. Four turns. Can I take this capital in four turns? The odds are unlikely, so we might want to consider the fact that we are definitely hitting Dark Age. What can I do to avoid a Dark Age? I need a scientist, not going to happen. Trade route might happen. Uh, we can purchase one. We're still a long ways away. 185, now nah, that's not going to happen either. Dang, we are going to hit a dark age here. That sucks. Thousand. 
thousands have lived without. Let's move you down. Start smacking the city. I don't think we're gonna get it in time. Uh, start moving the vampire in the right area. Hit writing so we can get this tile. And after writing, it is straightforward into. You know what? We have to. I'm going to wait a turn to see what it looks like in a turn or two. It looks bad in a turn or two. Okay. Let's get your piece. You'll give me 70. You won't give me 10. Will you give me 5? 4? 3? There we go. That's a big piece. Uh, it's a really big piece because... Well, we took her city. I need one... Era score. And I don't know how we're going to get that error score. I don't have any of these, right? So that's not going to work. Mm. Hero departed. Hero claimed. Oh boy, yeah, I really don't see us getting uh, the golden age, or the normal age. If we go into a dark age, we're going to have mega loyalty problems. That's how she can take that city back, is through loyalty. I should have burnt it down. I really should have burnt it. Okay, we're going to send Maui up this way to deal with that barb camp, I'm sure. Let's move forward here. I get denounced. Okay, everybody's going to be mad at me. I was really hoping there'd be like a natural wonder or something. Well, cool beans. Let's purchase the trader. We're going to lose this. How bad is it? It's not the worst it could be. We'll take the trader out with Kumasi. It's the most gold we can get. And it's a decent amount of, uh, well, it gives us the, the quest. If we get one more, that gives us the suzerainty. Let's look, what is she in? She's in a normal age, so she's not pushing as hard as she could be on us, which is a godsend. But she's still eight turns away from taking the city. We're going to need to grow, and we're going to need to put uh, a governor down there. I think we'll go for this because we're going to be building our campus and in one turn we'll have a governor. I want to set a unit in that city. Come on, mouse. We'll take that. Let's just get animal husbandry boosted by, by building this. Okay, well that is gone now. Writing, me look back over the path. Okay, so we're gonna need I think Hmm. Let's put that in for more military. We might want to take uh London out completely. 
this is working for me right now more than this would or this would. So we're going to keep the one production instead of going for the production towards builders or settlers. 11 turns until this flips because I grew. Let's throw a monument in there to help fight that. Uh, we'll go for astrology just to try to get some faith. But if we look, people, one is already gone. So somebody's built Stonehenge or something and people are working on this. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure that we'll get there. We'll just put you to sleep. Uh, oh, I don't have animal husbandry, so I can't build that. What am I, what am I thinking? I really want to get these. Oh my God. Quit clicking on those, Robert. I really want to get these amenities. Uh, but 65. Okay, as far as governors go, I think we're going to just go with, like, Liang down in Manchester and start building builders out of the city once we get the monument done. And that will keep us flush on loyalty. That's what we want. Go for workforce. We might lose that builder, but we'll get the amenities before we do so. There is no good campus location here. But we could put a campus here. Put a government plaza here. That gives us a plus three, right? And then we could do something like, I don't know, a golf course here. No, we don't want that there, actually. We could do something like golf course here into possible theater square here into possible entertainment complex down here and if we do that that's okay but we have to get this tile before Bologna gets it so we're gonna look at a monument here uh, that's that's a pretty core group of districts there for us uh, but we'll do that now, uh, send you up. When Maui dies, we'll get a little bit of something out of him. He's expanding. We don't like to see him expand. Let's chop this first. And then we'll put down the, uh, the thing. I don't have sailing yet. Let's go repair this farm. And try to squeeze up past him to see what's going on up there. Once I get the money, we're, we're going to get this a-going. And boom. Now, we're not happy. We don't have the amenities yet. But we'll be working towards it. A settle down by those elephants would be pretty nice. Probably on top of the elephants, if we're being honest. I could settle here. And then one, two, three. I could settle here. Right? Yeah. Okay, so I think we'll send the settler right here, actually. We're going to be pumping settlers out of the capital, so our capital is not really going to be able to grow, so there's no use appointing, appointing Pingala there right now. A physician without a oh, I haven't got to use Maui's little ability at all. Which sucks, because it would be... That's the only reason I really recruited Maui, uh, instead of Oye, because we get the the bonus towards uh, uh, luxuries with Maui. So I guess we're going to like luxury, luxury right, right here and maybe over here. Unit needs orders. Who? Down here. Ah, okay. We'll repair that. 
and then we'll get farm farm and then we'll chop this put a farm and we'll have like a huge growth section going on there london gets walls hate to see it never gonna get london now just move over here and start throwing down your luxuries uh, i think we might just keep that there until we get those luxuries and actually we're just gonna purchase that before Bologna snakes its way there it's next most likely tile is going to be the iron uh so that's okay with me if it gets the iron it gets the iron existing resource there there is something there for us to worry about we don't know what it is, but something does exist there. And I really think... No, I can't put an encampment anywhere. That wouldn't suck. Granary, because we're over here on the coast. We do need to figure out how we're going to district this city up. We do need to consider how we're going to district that city up. If we look, the great scientist, Hypatia, is probably, you know, on his way out. Like, there's no way I'm competing with these early scientists. I haven't built my campus yet at all. We're going to have to wait a turn until we can do that. Put a turn into that and just run you down. We need to start considering where we might put uh, vampire castles. That's the word I'm looking for. Yep, vampire castles. It's a pretty decent start here for a Scotland game. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Maui, pay attention to what you're doing. You're supposed to come over here and throw down your luxuries. Horses, horses were there. Okay. Luckily, not really in any place that I would hate to see them. Those horses. Keep spreading. Yeah, I have her city, so she's going to hate me forever. We're pretty much making sure that she's she's locked uh, into where she is right now. As long as we don't lose a war to her, she's pretty pretty much stuck. And I don't know why I'm not building a builder down here in the Liang city. That uh, doesn't make a lot of sense to me why I would do that. Sterling gets Magnus. And as soon as we get another uh, governor title, Magnus will be working on pumping out settlers. And now that we have this, let's go ahead and throw this down and start working on campus. It's weird not having Pingala this early, but we will catch up on science later. It will take a hot minute, but we'll get there. Uh, let's get you resting. That's T, and then we'll put something up here. Currency. We're going to need money. We might... I think it's actually just better to get the, the builder here. Edinburgh, work on your... Um, we could always put a campus right here. And how much will you take to buy? 70? We could put a campus right there and then we can... Uh, what am I doing? We can put uh, an industrial zone here. We're going to have all of the uh, great engineers this game. And we can put a golf course right here. And then we'll throw an entertainment complex right here. 
And there we go. Edinburgh district out. It's districted. As soon as this is done, the monument, we're going to throw its campus down. Existing resource right there. So we've got something here we can't do anything about. Uh, we are playing Scotland poorly right now because we are not ecstatic or happy in any cities. We have expanded so much that we need we need happiness. But that's a good problem to have. Like it means we're expanding. If we if we were ecstatic in every city right now, yeah, we would be making a lot of science. But at what cost? A pretty steep, heavy cost. Where would we put our next city? If we could put it anywhere, where would we choose? We're going to throw this campus down right there. And start working on getting our science production up because we're low. I think we're going to be looking at a city somewhere over here. Looks like it's going to be right here. We'll throw it down right there. Now that we have all these luxury resources, we need to be working on our culture and we need to be buying up tiles. Oh, I have one more charge, huh? Let's go ahead and, well, it's a deer. Okay, what a waste of a charge, but it's okay. Every time you put it on a tree tile, you have a chance of getting either pigs or a uh, deer. Uh, and we, we rolled low. There's Classical Republic. We'll throw in the production towards settlers. We'll throw in production towards builders. Plus two influence points per turn. Just have Maui sit there for a little bit. And I think next we're going to be looking at... Possibly the entertainment complexes, if we're being perfectly honest, uh, to help us get ecstatic cities. I kind of want to lean as heavily as I can into the happy city motif. One turn on this builder. The builder will come get the sea turtles. I don't have sailing yet. So the builder will not get those sea turtles. This builder is going to go up to the capital. Three turns until that is done. We have, we'll have our campus at that point. Uh, really, honestly, a campus could go here. So we'll look into that. We kind of want a campus in as many cities as we can get. Just like the Korea game, except our campuses are way less powerful, right? Uh, they have the potential to be a lot better, but they start off a lot worse. Sailing is next. We're going to get off of this and keep going with builders. I keep, I've got to remember when I see Liang, we're just going straight for builders until we don't need them anymore. We don't need that campus. It's not going to win us the game outright right now. But builders are going to help us in the long run. He's being super aggro. Uh, and I don't really appreciate it. I still don't have provision on Magnus. Where do I have to go to get that next government title? It's pretty far away either way I go. It's about 13 turns either way. So we are going to drop a citizen here in the capital, but that's okay. We'll take that loss. Boost that. Five turns until that moves into this. We do need to come down and purchase. Purchase and throw down our government plaza uh, before we get those settlers out. We'll throw down the government plaza. That'll give us provision in the Magna City. Vessels large may venture. 
And we will consider getting the Ancestral Hall, maybe. Or maybe the Warlord's Throne. We are packed in pretty tight here. We might want to consider... We did take the Vampires. We might want to consider going Warlord's Throne. But mostly I'm just down there for the... Uh, mostly... Let's get this. Mostly I'm just down there to get the... The government, the governor title. That's the word I'm looking for. Ugh. Keeping an eye on this city. If we can get that city, we're happy. We're going to sleep this for five turns so that we can slurp this tile up and probably finish the, the ancestral hall actually pretty quickly. Keep you asleep. Machu Picchu is gone to an unmet player. Oh, you're not a... That's an envoy. Oh, I'm stupid. We'll just go into this. Try to get the doubled campuses pretty quick. Uh, pop that into Kumasi. That gives us some extra culture. And obviously, error score is good. We want that error score. If we can get a heroic age. There's Wu. We're going to have spy shenanigans happening in this game. And knowing the AI biases here, that spy shenanigan is always going to be happening inside our capital. So, got to pay attention to that. There goes Maui. He's gone. He served us well. We'll move the vampire down there to maintain that spot for us now. Uh, and we need to start considering where we're going to get error score. Because uh, I would like to hit a heroic age. Good Lebowski reference. I could always take control of Kumasi. Uh, their levy their military, I mean. That would give us some error score. Each of us is a stone. There's that. Let's send this down here to get the 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 turtles. Set in the ancestral hall here and then slurp up. What is the production cost here? 150. We're gonna take half of this off by doing that. Move you up to get this. The, the amenities are always going to be very happy for us. And almost done with our two campuses here. Grab another builder in Manchester and put a uh, provision into Magnus so that we can start settler spamming. I can think of at least three more settlers probably that we're going to want to get out before we stop settling. We're going to be pretty tightly packed in here. There's some more amenities. So we're not happy in any cities. Uh, we're content. So we're going to need to get amenities up somehow here. I don't want that iron. So go away. I'm not at war currently. I'm denounced by pretty much everybody. But I'm not at war. We'll spend the gold to get another turtle. That celestial navigation boosted. That's really good for us. And we'll probably put the turtle industry down here and be happy with that. Manchester has turned out to be a pretty good city for us. If we can expand to this, that's even better. We'll get the T here. So look, boom, now we're happy. We're going to be making extra science. So we have uh, plus 1.2 from amenities. And... Yeah. Yeah. This city is also happy. Sterling is happy. Edinburgh, not quite. Not quite, but we'll get there. We're going to throw the turtle amenity uh, 
right on this tile. Ooh, Adam and Nanki's gone, so wonders are going. They're flying off the shelf here, and it is the end of the era. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to get what we want to get here. I think what we want to do is go for the T. Throw that industry down there. Uh, that's a great tile. Fantastic tile for this city to grow off of. And as far as amenities here go, we're going to throw down the entertainment complex and just be even happier. The entertainment complex is a huge investment, though. It doesn't return immediately. You had to build the buildings to get the investment out of it. But for us, it will eventually turn into other yields, right? So that is semi-worth in the long run. Let's purchase up here to get that tile. We're not going to hit a heroic age, unfortunately. But a normal age is good enough for me. We'll take it. If I had... Pr I could probably have optimized this to end up with a heroic age. But I wasn't paying that much attention. Let's send this to Bologna. The city-state trade routes right now are just better than internal or external trade routes for us. And I want you actually to get your library. We're going to be working our way research-wise towards apprenticeship, so we're going to want to build some mines uh, to get that happening. Throw this down. Next turn, we'll throw down the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the industry right there. Start getting some mines. Boom. Industry on this tile. Really strong industry for us. Uh, boosting yields in the capital by a bunch. I want to put down a commercial hub. But not finish building it yet. I just don't want it to become more expensive as we unlock more tech, right? That's what happens. I think we're going to settle this city first. Get a mine there. We'll grab the horses. And this city will start working on its settlers. Growth and settler. Six turns on those settlers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll put you into the the constructing districts. Magnus in the capital is going to be really good because I'll be able to get the factory bonuses from all these. Uh, with the what promotion is it? Uh, blah blah blah. I do want to put that in. But what is it? Vertical integration. The city receives production from all nearby industrial zone buildings with regional bonuses. So that's going to be like really good in the long run for us. And we're going to throw that into get rid of the urban planning for the one production per city and put that in to get the billion production or billion science that we're going to be able to get off that. We've skyrocketed up to 35 science per turn. Very comfortable there. Finish mysticism up. Very irritating sieves we've got this game. I kind of hate all of these as neighbors. London for obvious reasons. Ah, uh, looks like she's really spread out pretty far down here, huh? Are you beating up on Poland? You're beating up on Poland. Well, well. Sometimes that happens. I don't know if we'll be able to get this city now. I bet the loyalty pressure there is pretty insane. We'll come up 
to this city. Now nah, we'll come over to this city. It needs Edinburgh needs the the builder builder love the most. And then we'll go into military training. Uh, we're really not going to get there with the heroic age. Would have been fantastic if we could have, but you know we take the good with the bad. If we look, we're mm, just we're happy in this one city. We're happy in just one city here. But once we start, mm, uh, uh. We'll go here. We need three or two more to get to vertical integration. And as far as envoys go, Bologna or Anshan. We're going to work on Anshan. Next turn, the arrow rolls, or just two turns, the arrow will roll over. I don't have enough gold, really. I mean, I do have extras. Okay, let's pay attention. We need five. How can I get five? I can buy a galley. Buying a galley will give us uh, two, I think. I don't, I could buy a horseman that gives us one. Civilization, where's on the waves? That's three. I would need two more. I won't be able to get iron on time. That would only give us one, and we would still need one more after that. Uh, the world. I am working on. Where is this? Is the medieval era? I've built one, two. Can I quickly build a third mine? Let's see. If I have to sell more things to get there, we'll do it. That's one. Okay, I need to get three more. So we'll go here and we'll purchase a galley that gives us two. I need to sell a little bit of stuff off here. Come here and purchase a horseman. Boom! Heroic age secured. Last minute heroic age taken that's going to be fantastic for us uh and all in all we're off to a pretty fantastic start here with scotland i'll give you that sure use it to kill poland even faster and there we go heroic age secured welcome to the medieval era where we are going to end this episode uh Pretty fantastic start here to our Scotland game. We did cheese a bit by going to war with Eleanor early. Super, super, super duper early in the game. But you know what? Sometimes you have to. You have to crack a few eggs if you're going to make an omelet. We're going to be settling up here. We're going to try to settle over here. And we're going to try to settle down here. So that's at least three more cities that we're looking to get. If I can settle up here somewhere, that would be even better. Uh, so we're working on it. We're working on getting as much out as we can with what we have. I'm going to send this horseman over here just to fog bust a bit for us. And this galley is going to explore. So everybody, if you like this episode, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.